What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys so, so very much. All the shares, the cares, it makes a difference. Over 1,500 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of that's, none of that would be possible without you guys. All right. So thank you so, so very much. And yes, we're still living a bit of pandemic life and things have gone a lot virtual. And so I actually got caught up with a brand, a company that actually was a part of the Nurse Festival a few, you know, a couple months back. And we actually didn't get to connect with them, but we actually got that connection in right now. So we're talking to Joey from Assure Tech LLC. Hey, Joey. Hey, Ash. How are you doing? I am doing Take awesome. How are you doing today? Doing very well. Awesome. Awesome, Joey. All right. So, Joey, let everyone know, what is Assure Tech? So AssureTech is a technology company that started uh, about three and a half years ago while I was a college student. And so what we do is we create solutions for people with food allergies. So I'm a lifelong peanut tree nut sufferer. And about my about my junior year, I wanted to uh, start introducing some new options to help with some of the issues that I was finding in my life and that some of my other food allergic uh, classmates were, were also noticing. Right. And so the company really started with that idea in mind. Cool. So tell us about the Epicenter platform. What is that all about? Sure. So the Epicenter is uh, it's a mobile app and a website that we designed. And this is our, our main technology that we, that we created. Mm-hmm. So on the mobile app, you know, we want it to be just this kind of holistic solution for all of these different pieces of the food allergic experience. Mm-hmm. So you have, of course, your, you know, your, your emergency situations. And so, you know, if something like that happens, the mobile app is able to simultaneously uh, call emergency services, locate the nearest hospital, and notify your emergency contact and send them your live uh, GPS location. So really trying to help people find, oh, yeah, just try to find all the resources you need in that moment if something happens. Um, If you're traveling abroad, you can display a message that's translated in uh, 50 languages to get the help you need no matter where you are. Um, so really trying to help uh, people during that situation. And then the other side of things, of course, you have the, you know, the day-to-day parts of, of managing, you know, food allergies. And now all of a sudden with the pandemic going on, like you, like you were talking about, uh, you know, all of a sudden you, you see you, know, you see grocery stores that don't have uh, as many free firm products as they typically do in stock. Uh, or even grocery stores that you aren't able to go into depending on how bad your area has been hit. Yeah. And so we saw that we launched our product this spring, uh, right in the middle of all that. That was, you know, the timing just kind of worked out that way, unfortunately. Yeah. But as we started seeing that, we rebuilt the website because we wanted to, you know, help people find all these other resources to prevent having that emergency situation in the first place. Right. And so, if you go to the website or in the app you're able to order their products from all of the, we work with all of these different companies in the food app, the greater food allergy community. Mm-hmm. And so that was kind of how we wanted to close the loop and help people connect. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So don't we walk me through, like say a person has a peanut allergy and maybe mm-hmm. they had a cookie that they didn't know peanuts were in. How would the app aid them? Yeah. So if, if that happened, you would open up the app. You would press uh, right at the bottom, big and red and bold. It says emergency menu. You would tap that button, and then that would initiate the whole sequence. So, it's, you know, you'd have the option to call emergency services, send the message out to your contacts. Uh, it has an automatic text in there, so you don't have to t- actually type anything out, but send the message up to 30 emergency contacts that says, you know, hey, I'm having an allergic reaction. Here's where I am, and that would have the... Uh, link to your live location um, and then at the same time you would see a map with all the hospitals in the area and you'll have the option to either you know uh, pull up a map and, and plot your own path there or you can actually call and contact that hospital directly depending on what your preference is in that situation gotcha gotcha now this app sounds very sophisticated 
So I would imagine you guys went through a lot of testing and planning and figuring things out. Just off the top of the dome, what was the first major issue that you found when you guys were developing it? So the first major issue is probably that I originally I come from a, a business background in mm. school and, and I was um, studying business. Mm-hmm. Well, I had the food allergy and I wanted to help you know create solutions. So I, I spent a lot of time trying to understand what that process was like, and I was looking for you know kind of that technology partner to uh, mm-hmm. to work with, so we could start to introduce some of these things I was designing on on paper. Right. And so in the meantime, I graduated from from college, I went to Juniata College, which is a uh, school over in Pencil- central Pennsylvania. Okay. And so I graduated, and my professor was, um, he's originally from Taiwan. He had co-founded a very successful software company in Taiwan. Mm. And he knew that he was going to be looking for people to work for the company's uh, upcoming United States office. Right. And so he hired me after graduating. Mm. And I went to Taiwan to work at that company while still, you know, having these, these entrepreneurial uh, dreams. Mm. And while I was there, I actually had a really bad allergic reaction because of uh, failure to properly translate my condition. Mm. And so, yeah, that yeah. really, I mean, a- after that experience, I was like, okay, you know, I can, I need something to get me through the next six months because I knew how long I was going to be in Asia. Wow. And so I started uh, really teaching myself uh, the basic ins and outs of software development and put together a, you know, a fairly rudimentary app, but it effectively would translate for you. It would provide uh, some of the emergency features like finding a hospital. So it was effective. Okay. And once the company I was working for saw some of the momentum that we were picking up and saw you know the amount of good that we could do with it, this past January, the, com- the uh, software company, KDM Mobile, mm. uh, partnered with my startup. Mm. And they were, you know, they brought all of their engineering talent. I mean, they have 11 years of, of, of expertise in the area. So they were able to kind of take their talent and put them behind the designs and the, the solutions that I was trying to, you know, figure out. And so it was this really nice partnership. Like you guys are making moves in the right direction. Everything's kind of coming. Everything kind of came together at the right time. I love it. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So since the launch in spring, Joey, what would you say has been your proudest moment with the app? Oh, man. That's a really good question. I think one of the things I I was proudest to work on was making that quick pivot when COVID broke out. So I know that's turned every single business, you know, over on its head the the past six to eight months or however long it's been now. Mm -hmm. Um, And that was certainly the case for us. I mean, we started out with trying to help people travel safely with food allergies, which, you know, all all of a sudden became non-existent. And then, you know, just kind of returning to that core mission of making life easier and, and making more effective ways to manage your food allergies. So just, Returning that and saying, okay, what does that look like now in a, in a you know, a, amidst the pandemic? How do we fulfill that mission? Okay. And so we designed the store um, in response to that. So it was kind of like a, a, we called an audible as we were setting things up. And that's really been, you know, well received by, by the community so far. Gotcha, gotcha. Last but certainly not least, what is next for AssureTech? So next, mm-hmm. we have a couple of things. We've been expanding the uh, the amount of different allergy-friendly companies that sell through the store. Mm-hmm. So that's something that's really been kind of growing. Um, right now, we have about, I think, 25 or so brands represented in the store, but trying to mm-hmm. add more and, and create more options to help people find the products that they need wherever mm-hmm. they are. Um, mm-hmm. So that's one piece. And then the other piece is working on so we're also very passionate about wanting people to remember to bring their auto injector with them. Mm. That's something I certainly, um, I used to forget a lot, yeah. you know, frankly. Um, even in college, young adult, it was, I had, it took me a while to kind of get used to that responsibility. Yeah. So one of the, yeah, so one of the, kind of like the next step on that side of things is we're designing hardware that mm. uh, uses Bluetooth technology. 
and connect with the app. So if you leave it behind somewhere, you get a notification that says, you know, hey, go back and grab your EpiPen, your AudiQ. Here's where you left it. Mm. Um, yeah, we're, we're working on, on that solution. We've been building it for a little bit, and then the pandemic slowed things down. But now we're, we're kind of regaining traction in that on that side of things. So I'm really excited to, to help people find that too now. Okay, cool, cool. Well, Joey, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you, Rian. Yeah, thank you for having me. And uh, let everyone know the best way to get in contact with you guys and, of course, to get the app. Yeah, so you can find the Epicenter app, E-P-I-C-E-E-N-T-E-R, on the iOS and Android store. So whichever device you use, you can go right on, uh, download it, or you can find us at epicenter-case.com. All right. Sounds like a plan. Much more success to you and your team, Joey. Keep up the great work, and we'll definitely be cheering you on. Thanks. <laughs> and I appreciate uh, Thank you so much. Oh, Thanks again. Not a problem. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.